This video is not meant to displace the need for having a qualified person who is familiar with the construction and operation of all equipment in the system in which these products will be used and the potential hazards involved. Always read the entire installation maintenance manual completely through before attempting to install and use these products. The use of these products can lead to injury or possible death if not installed according to the manufacturer's directions as outlined in the aforementioned installation manual. We hope you find this video helpful as a supplemental tool in helping you to better understand the instructions listed in the installation manual. Installation manuals can be downloaded from the web at www.worldwideelectric.net. Welcome to Worldwide Electric's instructional step-by-step -step video on how to properly install and remove a backstop assembly on a Worldwide Electric shaft mount reducer. Whether you have purchased a Worldwide Electric original or ultimate design shaft mount reducer, this installation process will be the same. After the backstop installation, we will demonstrate how to change the free spin direction of the shaft mount reducer by proper removal of the backstop and then by rotating the backstop 180 degrees for reinsertion. That step will change the free spin direction of the shaft mount reducer. Caution. Use only Worldwide Electric brand backstop assemblies and the Worldwide Electric shaft mount reducers. Backstop assemblies are safety devices that are designed with precision. Using them in another manufacturer's reducer may cause them to operate incorrectly, which can lead to unsafe conditions to system operating personnel. Mixing brands of backstop assemblies with different manufacturer's reducers may also destroy the reducer, or at the very least, void the manufacturer's warranty. Be smart. Don't risk the safety of anyone to save a few dollars as the risk to you and your company is simply not worth it. In the backstop assembly package, you'll find a backstop key, a backstop, and possibly a circlip, dependent on the backstop assembly size. The backstop will have a foam cylinder in the center of its core. Do not remove that foam piece at this time. You will need a metric Allen wrench set, and two flathead screwdrivers for installation and removal of the backstop assembly. Another caution here, the reducer must be drained of oil before installing or changing a backstop, or gear oil will pour out of the backstop cover when we unloosen it. The first step is to take the appropriate Allen wrench to remove the backstop cover on the shaft mount reducer. This is the cover located directly opposite of the input shaft on the output side of the reducer. Carefully remove the cover and do not damage the backstop cover gasket when making it loose. Otherwise, oil may leak out of the backstop cover once we replace the cover. Removing this cover will expose the back of the input shaft. Reveal the insertion slot for the backstop assembly and also reveal the keyway location for the backstop key. You will definitely want to consult the installation and maintenance manual of the shaft mount reducer before installing any backstop because certain size reducers and backstops require special circlips to be installed within the reducer cavity to support proper backstop operation. Some backstops require the snap rings while others do not. The ones that require them will contain them in the backstop packaging. Take a close look at the rim cover of the backstop. It will contain an arrow showing the free spin direction of the backstop. Depending on the reducer and backstop size, some backstops will have an inner and outer race, while smaller size backstops do not. Consult the reducer manual if it becomes unclear to you what direction the arrow represents, as it can vary depending on model number and size of the backstop. The installation process is very simple, but it does require some attention to detail to prevent the backstop clutch sprigs from dropping during insertion. This is why you should leave the foam center inserted until you have gently and successfully pushed the backstop onto the shaft assembly. If you need to remove the backstop to change directions, simply have the backstop ease its way back onto the foam insert as you remove it from the shaft assembly. If you fail to do this properly, you may have to push the sprigs up by hand or you will find yourself fighting to get the backstop assembly onto the shaft as the clutch sprigs may have dropped after removing the backstop from the shaft. The key here is to move slowly and work the foam back into the center of the backstop as you pull it free from the shaft. Note that you can always insert the backstop assembly, 
Test the input shaft rotation, and if it is not traveling the direction you desire, you can remove the backstop and rotate it 180 degrees, thereby obtaining the desired input shaft travel direction you require. All Worldwide Electric shaft mount reducers come with a warning to electricians tag. Most of us set the backstop direction in the shop before the product is installed. However, eventually our products make it to the job site. If an electrician wires the motor leads opposite to the direction of free spin that we have set the backstop assembly, it will tear up the backstop and possibly the reducer as well. It is paramount that the electrician loosens and removes the reducer V-belts first to check the spin of the motor with the desired free spin of the backstop prior to powering up the shaft mount reducer or serious damage can occur and possibly a loss of equipment. Thank you for watching. Again, all Worldwide Electric installation and maintenance manuals are located on our website at www.worldwideelectric.net. Be sure to call us at 1-800-808-2131 with any questions or concerns you may have.